somebody cross him or a brother step on his shoe the wrong way, you want to make sure he got the laws of God imparted in him so he'll keep the commandments when time comes. Because you're supposed to be with us. You see what I'm saying? You're supposed to be with us. T uh, today, you're supposed to be out here uh, teaching your people. You see what I'm saying? Just like you could be teaching your son these things. This is very important. You got to teach your son this and we're going to go back because he's your adventure. You don't want him locked up or go through the same things you went through. That's why you got to come out of this. Don't use your own words. Use this right here. Listen, over there, what's, what's that right behind you? That, how much you think that church making? That's about a million dollar worth of property, right? Wow. That's it easily. Why is that big old church not teaching the people in this impoverished community, just like the people in the impoverished community of Memphis, that they are don't supposed to be buying from that, uh, that, that spot on the sap? He don't right. spoke, you don't supposed to be going in there. You see what I'm saying? It's something else you ain't supposed to be doing either. Give me that in uh, Exodus, what's that, 16 and 23? I'm shooting from the hip. It's, a, it's, it's certain things that you're supposed to be doing and not doing on the Sabbath. All right? Another thing you're supposed to be, and we're going to get Hebrews chapter 10 too, because you're supposed to be with us. You see what I'm saying? You're supposed to be with us. T uh, today, you're supposed to be out here. Uh, teaching your people. You see what I'm saying? Just like you could be teaching your son these things. This is very important. 30 and 6. Give me some rock 30 and 6. Man, I can't believe I, I forgot that scripture, man. I got two boys. For sure, these what they going to be for me. If, if, if the Lord allowed me to die, you know what I'm saying? At least I know when they come up, they going to be hell for the other nations. You feel me? And righteously. Read what you got. This is the book of Sharak. Chapter 30 and verse 6. Uh -huh. He left behind him an adventure. Wait a minute. He said, you left what? Behind him an adventure. Why is he going to be left behind to be an adventure for you? Just think about it. Come on. Luke. Come on. Think about it. Don't tell me. Oh, man. Come on, man. Come on. You don't see the injustice that's going on with your people. You don't see that? Have you ever been incarcerated? Did you did, so you went through the cus uh the, the judicial system. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? And what happens after you get out of the judicial system? You wanna have you wanna go and get a job, right? I just read man, me and my wife were talking. I realized that what happened with me was something that I for sure didn't do. That even though I went through the whole probation for a whole year, but guess what? I couldn't get a job. I had to go and get a temp service job and work ten for ten dollars an hour. Work them up just to pay rent. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then don't let me mess around and slip up. Now I gotta go and get a payday loan. That's why you gotta teach him the commandments of God, so he won't be. Give me uh, Leviticus 19. Give me Leviticus 19 because he don't look like he don't he don't look like he's soft. You feel me? You don't look like you saw. So if somebody cross him or a brother step on his shoe the wrong way, you want to make sure he got the laws of God imparted in him so he'll keep the commandments when time comes. Because for sure his time going to come. And he's going to have to do this. Read what you got. Listen. Listen close too. Read. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 19 and verse 17. You got to teach your son this and we're going to go back because he's your adventure. You don't want him locked up or go through the same things you went through. That's why you got to come out of this. Don't use your own words. Use this right here. He believes in it. He just don't have nobody to teach him. You see what I'm saying? But he got somebody, but you just ain't teaching him yet. You see what I'm saying? You don't think it's that important, but it really is, sir. Read. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. What do we have in our communities? What song, well, how many songs we got, young man, that said, man, they hating on me? A uh, damn, uh, damn a nigga that hate. Me. You know what I'm saying? We ain't what, how many songs we got like that? So what does that do? That perpetuates, but what we want to do is this. Read on. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke 
They ain't neighbors. If you got a problem with a brother, he owe you some money, right? You shouldn't hate him. It's okay for you to rebuke that brother. The brother bumping to you and y'all out, you know what I'm saying, in the store, it's, he bumping to you. Oh, my bad, bro. You know, but you bumped it to me, bro, but I, we going to let it go. You know what I'm saying? The brother thought you did something, you didn't do, or some kind the conversation went left. It's okay to rebuke that brother righteously. You see what I'm saying? But what? And not suffer sin upon him. Don't let that stuff fester. Because hate is a huge part in our community that we let get out of hands. Give me Hosea 4 and 1. Give me Hosea. Tell me this. This is this is the we're coming out the Bible, right? We're coming out the Bible. We showed you that you came over here on slave ships, right? We showed you today is the Sabbath. Did y'all celebrate Christmas? Y'all didn't celebrate all oh, praise. Y'all don't celebrate Christmas. I didn't celebrate it at all. You didn't celebrate. They ain't had they ain't had no tree in your house, right? Good. That's, and see, he like, hell no. He already above, he are, think about how much money that man, you taught him just to save, to keep that money and reinvest it. Right. You see what I'm saying? When I, was, when I wasn't, uh, didn't know the scriptures, guess what I was doing? I was saving up all my money just to go and buy gifts for my various family members. And end up by the time and be waiting on that tax income check, uh, check to come through. Because I'm broke. And I'm finna be broke until that check hit. I'm waiting on the W-2s. You feel me? Read what you got. This is the book of Hosea, chapter 4 and verse 1. Uh -huh. Hear the words of the Lord, ye children of Israel. Do you believe that you are a child of Israel? You say yes. Guess what? You are, he's your seed. He, he, that's your seed. He is too. Read. For the Lord had a controversy with the inhabitants of the land uh -huh. because there is no truth nor mercy nor knowledge of God in the land so let me ask y'all this y'all didn't celebrate Christmas right did your family members celebrate Christmas You don't know. Well, I ask you that. I got, I got something for you. Turn around and look at that church. Turn around and look at that church. What's on that? What's on that church right there? Wake them up. That's a reed, right? That church over there is celebrate Christmas. They got this Bible. This Bible says do not celebrate Christmas or other pagan, pagan holidays, right? So it said there's no truth. There's no what else. For the land of... For the land had a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. Because there is no truth, uh -huh. nor mercy, nor knowledge of God in the land. Sir, is there mercy in this land, sir? In Jonesboro, is there mercy in Jonesboro? Is there mercy in Jonesboro? Sir, what's your name, sir? What's your name, Bob Man? Sir? Go Matt? Joe Brown. Joe Brown. Joe Brown. Is there mercy in Joe in Jonesboro? Don't you don't know. Okay, I tell I ask you this. If somebody if somebody bump into you a step on them fresh shoes you got right there, what would you or what are you more likely to do? Are you willing are you willing to let it go or you gotta ask him what's his problem? I'll let it go. You'll let it go? Well you got mercy, brother, but that's why we want you over here. Because the mercy that we're trying to show our people is this. Give me go back to nineteen. Go back to nineteen. Read. Joe Bun. Listen, listen, so you, you done told me your name now. 
You didn't tell me until you told me that. Read what you got. The book of Leviticus, chapter 19 and verse 17. Read. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Uh -huh. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. You see that, Joe Brown? So you might let it go. Y'all might let it go, but is your people letting it go? What is the nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you.